Okay, I'm gonna start first. Your turn. Hmm. Ouch! Okay, okay, let's do it again. Okay, ready? Um, you go first. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. dun. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, boys and girls! Welcome to Gateway Kids Club Storytelling! My name is Duane, and I found this new game that I was playing with my friend. It's really fun. It's a snapping crocodile game. So all you need to do is to press the teeth one by one and hope that the jaws don't snap on you. And if they do, you have to see if you can pull your finger out as quickly as possible. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you play this game with me? I know you can't reach to my crocodile, but you can guess which of these, when I press, will cause the jaw to shut. Shall we try it together? Okay, I'm gonna start with this one, okay? Okay, I'm gonna try this one now. Okay, uh, what about this? Dun dun, dun dun. You ready? Dun, Ooh, whoa, that was close. This one? Dun dun. Okay. <laughs> dun dun. One more. Dun dun. Oh, this guy is a teaser. <laughs> Did you guess that one? Shall we play it one more time? Okay. Open up, crocodile. The dentist is coming. Okay. You want to go first? You want to guess? Where? Over here? Okay. Dun dun. Dun dun. All the way to the other side? Dun, dun, the fourth from oh, one, two, three. Oh, this one? Oh, great. Dun, dun. Oh, okay. Dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun. Dun, dun. Okay, this guy is a dun. Oh, we have four more left. Okay, five more. This one? Oh, this one? Okay, three more. This is a stubborn little crocodile. <laughs> Did you guess that one? Wow, that was a really long wait. Good job. Hey, it was fun and really exciting, wasn't it? You know, today I have also a very fun and exciting story for you. And in this story, there are also tons of jaw snapping crocodiles. Nom, 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 nom. But they are not the main characters of today's folktale. In today's folktale, we go across the seas, across the causeway to the jungles of Malaysia, and we look at a tiny little mouse deer. Do you know what a mouse deer is, boys and girls? Well, a mouse deer is a small mammal, an animal, that looks like a cross between a deer and a mouse. And for some species, it actually looks like a little skinny pig. Well, a mouse deer is about 30 cm long, and sometimes they can grow up to only 60 cm long. They have really short, skinny legs. I have a photo of a mouse deer I'd like to share with you. Okay. Can you see this, boys and girls? Now this is a mouse deer. As you can see, it's really tiny. It has big, pretty eyes and a really cute little nose. And as I mentioned earlier, short, skinny legs. Can you see it? Well, this is a mouse deer. And mouse deers eat leaves and plants and berries and fruits. But because the mouse deer lives in the wild, it is also susceptible to all its predators. It has to be careful of tigers and crocodiles. But this mouse deer in today's story, his name is Sang Kanchil. And he is a very smart and clever and fast and quick thinking mouse deer. And so he was able to escape all his predators. This story, this folktale, is called Sang Kanchil and the Crocodiles. Once upon a time, there lived a little mouse deer. He lived in the jungle by the river. Every day, he would prance around and dance around and enjoy the surroundings. He would love to eat berries, pluck berries from the trees, and eat the leaves. In fact, I think he's coming here soon. Let's say hi to Sang Kanchil, shall we? Okay, Sang Kanchil. Hello, boys and girls. How are you? 
my name is Sang Kan Chul, and I'm a mouse deer. <laughs> Are you doing well today? I'm so hungry. I can't wait to go to the jungle and eat all the berries I can find. Do you like berries, boys and girls? Oh, what kind of berries do you like? I like blueberries and raspberries, cranberries, uh, blackberries, um, grapes. Is that a berry? Strawberries. <laughs> do you like those? Well, let me tell you my favorite fruit is not a berry. It's called a water apple. Have you heard of a water apple before? In Malay, it's called jambu ai. A water apple is like an apple. It's as crunchy as an apple, but it's way juicier. I've got one here to show you. These are water apples. They're red in color. They look like upside down bells. Or sometimes they look like a heart. I'm gonna try one and show you how juicy and how tasty they are. Mm, mm, mm. Can you hear it? Can you taste it? <laughs> well, eating this is making me even more thirsty. I shall go to the river and take a huge drink of water. I'll see you in a while, boys and girls. And so Sankanju made its way to the river. But Boys and girls, this river wasn't just any other river. This river was teeming with crocodiles, mean, nasty crocodiles. Jang, jang, jang. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. I'm the lean, mean, nasty crocodile. You can call me Mr. Crocodile, hello. Well, I'm so hungry. I'm always so hungry. And every time I look at the river banks, I see that little mouse deer prancing and dancing about as if mocking me, saying, come and eat me, come and eat me. I really want to eat that mouse deer. Hey, boys and girls, do you know what we crocodiles love to eat? Yes, we love mouse deer, but we also love meat. We love to eat little birds that fly by the river. We love to eat fish and frogs and turtles. <laughs> but I really love to eat meat, thick succulent meat like the mouse deer. <gasps> Wait, I see the mouse deer by the river banks. I think he's here to take a sip of water. I shall creep up slowly until he doesn't see me, and when I'm close enough, dun 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 dun, I shall open my jaws and I shall snap him. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? <laughs> Boys and girls, time to camouflage. Hey, do you know what camouflage means, boys and girls? Well, camouflage means to blend into your surroundings such that no one can see you. It's like putting on an invisible cloak such that you become invisible to everyone. A lot of animals are able to camouflage so that they can protect themselves from predators. Let me show you a few examples of what camouflage is. If you look at this picture, what do you see? Twigs, a branch, some sticks. If you look closer, can you see a stick insect? See its legs, its head over here? This is a stick insect. It's called that because it looks like a stick and it camouflages itself. So when birds fly around, they won't be able to tell it's an insect and they'll just fly past because they think it's part of a tree. Over here, what do you see? Leaves, mm-hmm. Now look closer. Do you see legs and a head and two little yellow eyes? What do you think this insect is called? That's right, it's a leaf insect. This one looks exactly like a leaf. So when birds fly by, they won't be able to tell that it's an insect because it is in camouflage. Well done. Now a very famous animal, a reptile that camouflages itself. Do you know what this is, boys and girls? This is called a chameleon. Now the chameleon is very special because its skin is able to change color based on the background. For instance, this one 
skin changed to green and yellow to match the surrounding plants around him. And then, if you put him in a different setting, he is now like a tree bark, this gray and white and brown and black. Isn't that wonderful? And so his predators won't be able to spot the chameleon if he stays really still. Did you know that humans can also camouflage? Mm -hmm. Well, we can't change the color of our skin, but, well, we can paint them, but we can put on clothes that help us blend into our surrounding. Let me show you an example. When I was in the army, we were given an outfit called a camouflage. This was my uniform that I wore when I was in the army. It's called a camouflage because it's green and has patterns, and it's meant for you to disappear when you're in the jungle so the enemies are not able to spot you. So I'm gonna give you a class today on camouflaging in the jungle 101. Here we go. So I put on my uniform, then I'm going to go into the jungle. I'm gonna find some plants. Ooh, I have some plants here. And some leaves. Boys and girls, are you ready for this camouflage? It's like magic. Now you see me, boom. Now you don't. Wasn't that good, boys and girls? <laughs> camouflage. You can borrow your daddy's uniforms and, and try to camouflage yourself among the plants or in, in, in the gardens downstairs. So this is what I wore when I was in the army. It's really hot, so I'm just not going to wear it for the rest of the story. Now, the crocodile, he camouflaged himself as a floating log and floated across the river. He was really still because some crocodiles are dark green and brown, and so they really look like dead tree trunks just floating in the river. So that's what Mr. Crocodile had in mind. Vroom. Dun, 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 dun. He was hoping that Sang Kan Chiu won't notice him. Dun, 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 dun. But Sang Kan Chiu was a very clever mouse deer. He saw the log and knew at once that it was Mr. Crocodile. So he saw a huge stone nearby and with one strong kick, the stone flew and knocked the crocodile right in his head. Ouch! What do you do that for? Ah, you were trying to trick me, crocodile. Huh? I knew it was you all along pretending to be a log. Well, you're not always going to be this lucky, Sun Kan Chiu. One day, I'm going to eat you. And if it's not me, it's all my other crocodile friends in the river. <laughs> but you see, Sun Kan Chiu was too smart. He was always able to escape all the crocodiles and other predators. He was able to outwit, outlast, and outsmart the crocodiles. Da, 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 da. Well, one day, Sang Kan Chiu was walking along the river, and he noticed something different. He looked across the river, and across the river, there were trees, and on the trees, there were fully grown, big, huge water apples. Big. Juicy water apples. Sun Kan Chiu started to drool. Oh, I really want to eat those. But he had to get across the river in order to get to the water apples. How would he be able to get across the river, boys and girls? Do you have any ideas? Swim? Okay. Build a boat? Okay. A bridge? Great idea. But you see, there was one problem. The river was filled with Crocodiles! Oh, so many hungry crocodiles. The moment he goes into the river, he would definitely be eaten by one of the crocodiles. Now, Sang Kan had to think, hmm, what can I do to get across the river? And he had an idea. He went to the riverbanks and started shouting for Mr. Crocodile. <clears throat> Mr. Crocodile! Mr. Crocodile, where are you? <laughs> uh... What do you want, Sunken Chill? Are you ready to be eaten? <laughs> no, I'm not ready to be eaten, and I never will be ready to be eaten. Well, I'm here because I have an announcement. An announcement? Yes, the king has invited all the animals in the jungle for a huge party. Party? Yes, and you and all your crocodile friends are invited. 
Who? What's going to be at this party? Um, everything will be at this party. <laughs> Boys and girls, do you like to go to parties? What do you like to see at parties? What are some of your favorite things at parties? Balloons? Cakes? Costumes, like a costume party? Oh yeah, face painting, that's really fun. What about decorations and cakes and cupcakes? Oh, chocolate fountains? Magic shows? Talking about chocolate fountains, when I had a party once, it was a Christmas party that I was hosting, and I had a huge chocolate fountain that I had to put together. However, I did not fix the fountain properly, and so when I switched it on, the chocolate went like this, vroom, 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 and chocolate sprayed all over my house, on my walls, on my clothes, and all over my guests. Let's just hope that in this party, nothing like that happens. So, <clears throat> a party? Sure. Um, what do you need me to bring? Um, <clears throat> nothing. I don't need you to bring anything, but I need to count how many crocodiles there are in the river. <clears throat> Why? Because the king needs to cater food that will be enough for all his guests. And he knows that you poor crocodiles are always so ravenous and hungry that he wants to give you extra food. <laughs> Extra food? Oh, okay, um, what do you want me to do? I need you to gather all your crocodile friends and gather in the river so I can count them. Hmm. Boys and girls, should I trust Sang Kan Chu? Should he trust me? Yes. You sure? Yes. You sure? Yes. You sure? I'm sure. You're sure? Yes. Okay, fine. I shall go and call all my crocodile friends. And so Mr. Crocodile went to the river to gather all his friends. Sang Kan Chiu was really, really nervous. Okay, let's hope his plan works. So all the crocodiles gathered in the river. Sang Kan Chiu stood by the riverbanks. His legs was getting wobbly. He was so nervous because there were so many hungry crocodiles all staring at him. Okay, um... <laughs> Hello, crocodiles. <clears throat> I need to count all of you now so that I can report to the king how many of you there are so he can cater enough food, or more than enough food for all of you to eat. <laughs> but I need you to promise me one thing. What is it? You can't eat me. Huh? Yeah, of course. I mean, if you eat me, then who's going to report to the king? The king will be really furious when he finds out that his favorite messenger has been eaten by you crocodiles and you're going to get nothing at all. Okay, that's a good point. Okay, how do you want to do this? Well, I need you to line up across the river in one straight row all the way to the other end like a bridge and then stay there and I'm going to count to you. Okay, sounds like a plan. So, the silly crocodiles started swimming and formed a bridge across the river. Okay, where are all the silly crocodiles? <clears throat> okay, boys and girls, I'm going to need your help to count the crocodiles. I'm going to hop on them one by one until I get to the other side and then I finish counting them, okay? Okay. Ready or not, here I count. <laughs> one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, yay! Eight crocodiles, that's great! I did it, I managed to cross this crocodile bridge without getting eaten, woohoo! You silly crocodiles. San Kan Chiu managed to trick the crocodiles. He got across the river to the other side without getting eaten. The crocodiles realized that they were being fooled by San Kan Chiu. Oh man! They were so angry with Mr. Crocodile for allowing them to be fooled. And now not only did they not have a party to go to, they had no food. They had to go back to finding small fish and frogs and turtles. San Kan Chiu, on the other hand was really happy because he had his new home across the river and he could enjoy the wonderful, delicious, sweet water apples. Mm -hmm. Now, he has to be really careful not to go near the banks anymore, the banks of the river, because there are still these hungry, angry crocodiles that might just want to take their revenge. 
But seeing how smart and quick-witted Sang Kan Cho is, I think he will be just fine. The end. <laughs> what a fun story and phew, that was really close. What did you learn from today's story, boys and girls? Well, I learned that nothing is too impossible if you think out of the box and you think creatively like Sang Kan Cho. He managed to get out of danger all the time. And of course, I don't want to be like the crocodiles. They were so gullible and they took everything at face value. They didn't check to see if things were true. And because of that, they lost an entire party and an entire meal that they could have. If you enjoyed today's story, please click like and subscribe. For more updates on Gateway Kids Club, as well as our weekly art and craft projects, please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Mommies and Daddies, Gateway Kids Club is a free program and your donation helps to keep this club running as well as support artists like myself. To donate, please see the link below or visit our website. See you next week as I bring you stories from the moon. Bye-bye. <laughs> now I'm going to play with that little crocodile again. Okay, where are you? Dun, dun. Okay, this time I'm not going to let you eat me. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, I can do this really fast. Ouch! My hand! Ah!